Hi guys, it is Thursday the 29th and I want to talk to you today about the results from my PET scan. But before I do that, I want to show you how we're settling into our house here in Bartlett. Mo hung all of these crosses that we've collected over the years, except for two, two crosses that are stained glass and they will go in the corner window there and the corner window there as soon as we fix. There's like a little steamy moisture build up so we're going to replace that pane of glass and then all of our crosses will be hung and we will be more settled so that was like a whole nother gigantic box unpacked anyway getting to the results of the pet scan um i had one three months ago when we when we moved here and then i had one a week ago to compare the two to see if there was any progress from changing me from Zalota, which had kind of stopped working and had some bad side effects, um, to now I'm on Ibrance and Letrozole. And essentially, there's no change at all, but my oncologist feels that there is a slight improvement. And if you look at it, comparing the two PET scans, it's like a hair's breadth, like just, I mean, just a shadow of a movement that maybe it's a little bit smaller, but essentially it looks the same. So I will take a slight improvement over no improvement at all, and I'm just really, really quite thankful that there's no new sites. Um, come on, you wanna say hi to the people? Say hello to the people. Sadie always has to be part of the videos. She just loves it, don't you? People are over here. Oh, she licked you. She does that every time. Ah, so while I was at the doctor, at the oncologist yesterday, part of our discussion was that I have been on chemo ongoing for four and a half years. I will celebrate my five year cancerversary in March on the 28th. And part of having been on three different chemo cocktails and having moved from Texas to Colorado to Texas to Tennessee and twice in Tennessee, we moved from an apartment to a home and then from a home in Tennessee to Illinois, all in a four and a half year period. Um, it's been really stressful. It's been, it's been a lot. <laughs> I can't believe that I was relatively healthy for 17 years and we put down roots in Flower Mound. Now that I'm the sickest I've been in my life, we can't seem to stay put for more than 18 months. Um, at any rate, that, that has been very stressful. The cancer, the moving, and we've lost some family members, and it's just, it's been a lot the past four and a half years. So as a result of that, I guess I'm a little bit depressed, and I will begin taking a antidepressant. I can't remember the name of it. I haven't gotten it filled because there seems to be some sort of uh, an issue with my insurance filling prescriptions. They always want me to do mail order instead of doing the local pharmacy, but the doctor wants me to have it filled at the local pharmacy because I don't know if it's going to work for me. So I don't want to get 90 days of medication that I may need a higher dose, a lower dose, or a different kind of medicine altogether. Anyway, so that is an issue. I, I, feel as though I have a great deal of support through my family and I also have an extended group of men and women who I communicate with online, all who have the same sort of disease that I have, metastatic breast cancer. A few have um, triple negative, some have estrogen re receptor positive, and uh, some actually have what is called inflammatory breast cancer, which is the, the skin of your breast and it's it's a different kind of disease altogether. But there are women and men out there who I communicate with, who encourage me, support me, share their stories, I share my story. So I don't feel that this depression is caused by a lack of support. 
or a lack of encouragement or community. Um, we're becoming involved with our church. We go to Willow Creek, and hopefully after a few more months, we'll, we'll have a community of people that, that we go to church with that we know. But um, that's not the problem. The problem mm -hmm. is the stress of year after year after year taking chemo ongoing. Um, every time I've stopped, I've developed a new site. Uh, I stopped for six weeks and everything increased. And then I stopped for another six weeks and developed a tumor on the outside of my heart. I just really, I can't stop taking chemotherapy. It's pretty detrimental to me. But the constant chemo and medication and all of the things that you have to take in addition to chemo, like I take medication because I developed shingles. I will always for the rest of my life be on shingles medication because if I stop, I will develop shingles again. Um, I can't sleep at night because my mind races, so I take sleeping medication. I take medication for pain because guess what? Cancer hurts. Um, so, you know, there's, there's just a whole lot of work and, and change that goes on when you live long-term with a terminal illness like metastatic breast cancer. It's hard, but I will let you know when I start taking the medication, how it affects me. Apparently, it takes like two to three weeks building up in your system before you see a change in how you're feeling. Um, and when I notice that and as I experience things, I will be sure to share them with you. And when I know for sure what the medication is called, it's not Zoloft. It begins with an L. I, can't, I cannot, you know, chemo fog. I just don't have the, the retention that I used to have. I used to be able to tell you, oh, such and such conversation happened three years ago and you were standing there and wearing that and she was standing there and wearing that and relay to you word for word what the conversation was. But I just can't do that anymore. It's uh, brain damage. <laughs> but that is, that is the good news. The good news is that there are no new sites and that my cancer is stable that I'm depressed and I'm going to receive treatment for it. Um, thank you guys so much for always checking back every week to see what my videos and blog posts are. If you have any questions, suggestions, uh, comments, feel free to post them below, either on my Facebook, on my website, or if you're viewing this video at YouTube, wherever. I'm Leslie Bolas at Leslie's Cancer Confessions pretty much anywhere you would want to find me, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all over. So thank you for stopping by. I hope this caught you up, and I'll see you next week on Wednesday. Bye.